Welcome back to the shop. Today in the mill, we got the Milwaukee transfer pump. Everything I've read and seen, it'll transfer and pump water. Who gives a shit? I need to pump oil. And that's what we're gonna see if it's gonna do today. I don't believe in reading specs off for you, but two things that I think are important is that it says it'll pull a negative head 18 feet of clean water in a maximum head height of 75 feet, which is pretty impressive. This is the tool only version. Battery goes here. We're going to run a 9 amp hour battery on it for testing. Turns on. That's all we need to know. Let's get to work. So what I've read and seen other people do is they went with the washing machine hoses and I think that's a good idea. Um, number one, they're small in diameter so I can get it into small holes, hydraulic tanks, um, transmission cases, whatever I need to get into and it won't pull flat. I don't think it's gonna collapse as easy as a garden hose and they've already got the three quarter brass connectors on them. I cut the straights off. I'm just gonna use the 90s. We're gonna put blue on the inlet and red on the outlet. Red for danger, right? All right, next thing I need is uh, some oil. All right, just like that. One empty bucket, one full bucket, and we're gonna do it at um, we're gonna do it level first, so uh, as close to zero head as we can. Just see if it'll pull out of this one and transfer into that one. All right, so we got the pump set up, um, blue hose, and the one we're sucking out of, red hose to the one we're pumping into. This has never sucked anything. Let's see if it's gonna pull the oil and pump it in there. It's actually transferring pretty quick. I think that hose actually sucked itself to the bottom of the jug when I first started it. Right, so that was two and a half gallons not bad that's it yeah we're, we're pulling over and up a little bit but let's see if it'll actually pull from the ground up into the container we'll do that next all right so what i did is real quick i cut this hose at a 45 degree angle right on the end and that'll keep it from sucking to the bottom of the jug or the hydraulic tank whatever i'm putting the hose in now i'm about three feet down into the jug and we're going to pump about uh two feet up and over so let's see if it'll pull and push no problem I mean it pulled it instantly into the pump and I even let the pump run dry a little bit to make sure it was no prime inside that's pumping just as good or better than it did level so you get the picture it will pump that's kind of why I like the 90s on these um, uh, washing machine hoses because I can put this on top of the machine, run it straight down into a tank. Uh, I can turn it sideways, run it like it's straight, forward, back. So that's why I kept the 90s instead of the straight. So, so far, 
I'm impressed with it. Um, only time will tell. Like I said, nowhere in the specs or online does it say it'll pump oil, but that's what I bought it for, and that's what we're going to use it for. So, yes, it will pump oil. And it's got the same impeller as my plug-in. I got an AC pump that I have to plug in, extension cord, whatever, to pump. But it's the same type of impeller, same type of system, so no reason it won't hold up and last. But if for some reason it doesn't, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. For shits and giggles, we know it'll pump water. Let's just watch it do it. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. You can